Hi Taurus, welcome to your reading and this is for Taurus Ascendant. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus placement in their chart. Jupiter may resonate with the reading. Cross watchers are always welcome. Cross watchers, if I described someone and you know that it is not you, it is not you. Just because you are connecting with Taurus, you're going to assume that whom I'm describing here is you. Please don't. This is not a personal reading. For those of you who's new to the channel, welcome. You might want to consider subscribing. For I am always hosting a party online wherein I am doing a live streaming. And in the live stream, you can ask me questions. If you missed the live streaming, you can still ask me questions. There is a link in the description box. Click that link. You'll be routed to my page. Type in your questions and then click submit. So Taurus, if you are into twin flame readings, almost personal readings, pick a card and channel messages. You can subscribe to the other channel, Timeless Tarot 111. And if you resonate with the reading, congratulations. If you do not resonate with the reading, then you can come back um, in a week or two. You may resonate with the entire reading. You may resonate with some bits and pieces of the reading. Take it as you will. Take what only resonates. Keep in mind that this is not your personal reading. And I would really appreciate if you can click the subscribe button and smash a Z like button so that the video can ride onto the YouTube algorithm. So I can sense here a potential um, change of a person. And this change is for the better. It's either you already have a separation or you're still in a connection, but you're not on the same page. So energetic separation, still separation. Um, you're waiting for this person to change. One thing's for sure, they're already changing. S separations, physical separations can be. They, um, they are in a different city, state, county, country, different continent, or you are in a long distance connection. Energetic separation, here's what I'm saying. You know, there's, um, you're not on the same boat. You're not on the same page. You are just watching um, for them to change. There is some f energy fights. Um, misunderstanding but I can sense you're there trying but I can also see here that you can't help anymore you're already exhausted or you exhausted your resources for them to help for you to help them so you're just waiting because you've done your best. You give 100% or 102%, 101%. But have you? It exceeded your... And you're, you're also surprised that you have this... Um, you have this patience in you, right? I think that this person is, it's either there's a lot of opportunities right now or they need to check other opportunities for them to change. The consequence here of connecting with this person is
they don't have a specific direction. They want to do a lot of stuff. They want to put their attention into a lot of stuff. And sometimes they want to do it all at the same time. That's probably why they do not have the focus. The pros in this connection is at least they're trying, right? There's some urge in you that you really wanted to, you know, hey, come here, sit down, let's talk this over. This is what I want. I saw angel number 555. Comment down below what angel number 555 means. I know that that is... Um, related to this um, reading. I want you to sit down. Let's talk about this. This is what I want. This is um, the steps for you to make me happy. But of course you don't want that, right? You don't want that because it may you know, kind of like it's, you don't want to put in their mind that you are demanding, you are commanding them, that uh, you, you still want to give them the free will, right? Because you're, all, you're, you're ready. You're ready to put this connection into another level. If it's just you, if you, if this person is mirroring your energy, there's no problem. But they have a lot of directions. Are you asking yourself that, why did I let myself to fall in love this uh, this deeply to this person? Why did I give my heart too early? You can't control that, right? But there's some remorse here. It's kind of like regretting. Why did I show my heart on my sleeve? It felt like that there's a lot of waste of time on this. And you're also asking yourself. Probably this person is giving you mixed signals, right? They're also regretting for why this, you know, especially if you are in a separation for a few numbers of you, why it have to, why you need to separate. I think that they're asking for more understanding, the audacity, which you already gave to them, right? I can see here that you gave them the um, you give them all the understanding that they need. They're actually seeking for advice. How to return. Um, if I'm not mistaken that this person is either this is their first time to have a you know real connection so an experienced person or they don't really know what to do with you they don't really know what to do with the connection 
it felt like to you that this person is just coming in and out it's a never-ending story um, it's a breakup makeup on repeat the connection will pause connection will continue on repeat but low-key you cannot you know um, also leave the person behind at least deep inside you right it felt like you're very you're, you're like stuck in the connection The reason why you're stuck is because you also see yourself with this person, you know, um, growing all together. I think that this person is also the person that you have been eyeing for, wanting for, wishing for, for the longest time. You're also hooked. But you're not a captain. Captain Hook. I know, it's a, a corny joke forget about it um, going back it's hard to be in your place because deep inside you you don't want them you don't like it anymore I mean you don't want them um, let me rephrase that you don't want them anymore but a part of you is you're craving for this person's energy. You know what? Um, this person is really sneaking out on you. They might be hiding in a dummy account. This person has a problem of expressing their emotion. This person cannot be vulnerable, at least to them. You know. Probably they think that vulnerability is a sign of weakness. The universe is telling you to strategize. Be very strategic because this person already has a foundation of emotion. You have the same cravings of, I mean, soul. If, the, if, if relationship, marriage is a food, then both of you are craving for that. But they don't know how to do it when to do it so this uncertainty gives you both of you you know um, heartbreak that's why the universe is telling you to be strategic um, handling this person Because this person is not very vocal. And this person do not want to be forced as well. It's hard to be in your situation. Taurus, it's really hard to be in your situation because you might be connecting with someone that cannot and do not want to um, express but deep inside it's you it's you all along 
If you have some questions in this reading, there is a link in the description box. Click that link. You'll be routed to my page. Type in your questions and then click submit. If you want to book a personal reading, there is also a link in the description box. Love and light to you. Namaste. See you on the next reading. Goodbye, Taurus.